The winner of the 2009 One World Media Special Award is the Jerusalem-based organization B'Tselem, the Israeli Information Center for Human Rights in the Occupied Territories. B'Tselem was established more than 20 years ago and has been doing a remarkable job recording human rights abuses in the occupied territories and the Gaza Strip. What particularly impressed the One World Media trustees this year was B'Tselem's innovative new camera distribution project, which has enabled Palestinians to record numerous cases of violent abuse and human rights violations at the hands of Israelis. A truly remarkable example of brave and innovative citizen journalism being fed into the mainstream media. Let's find out a little bit more about B'Tselem. Three years ago, B'Tselem set up its camera distribution project to record some of the violation on videotape as they were taking place within the West Bank and Gaza. We gave more than 100 small video cameras to Palestinians living in the most violent places, gave them training and asked them to record their reality. The first example I want to show you is coming from Salama Mira, standing in her living room next to a broken window. She filmed the Israeli army detaining one of her neighbors. She had no idea she's just about to film something that will shake the Israeli public and will be broadcast all over the world. After Amira filmed this footage, she sent it to B'Tselem. The moment we got it, we immediately asked the authorities to open an investigation, and then we distributed the footage to the international media. We're back with NBC News in depth tonight. It's a videotape view of a chaotic and often violent part of the world. Not long ago, a human rights organization in Israel gave 100 video cameras to Palestinians so they could document what they said was happening to them. As NBC's Martin Fletcher reports, some dramatic moments have been captured on tape and seeing is believing. These pictures shock Israel. A Palestinian detained following a demonstration on the West Bank is blindfolded and handcuffed and then shot in the foot with a rubber bullet. 17-year-old Salma, a Palestinian, got the pictures through this window, despite this bullet hole from another incident. Were you afraid that the soldier may shoot you if he saw you filming? No, I was just afraid they would take my pictures. I want them to see this and then the soldiers may treat us better. The soldier and his officer were arrested, but only after the pictures were sent to the army three days ago. We are taking this matter into great seriousness, and therefore we initiated a military police investigation. Let me show you just one more example, filmed by Mona Nawaja from South Hebron Hill. She picked up her camera when she saw settlers coming to harass her family. You can see that the footage is shaky because she filmed it from far away and she was very frightened. This was first broadcast by the BBC and then all over the world. The first arrest was made two days later as a result of, the, of this footage. Tamam al Nawaja spent three days in hospital. She showed us her injuries, a broken arm, a fractured cheek. She says the settlers had given her a 10-minute warning to clear off from the land, but she and her husband had stood their ground. These video stories have shaken Israeli public opinion, mobilized the concept of citizen journalism, bringing a model for a change that can be adopted to other conflict areas and improve life of many people suffering from human rights violation all over the world. The award is sponsored by the Institute of Development Studies, and here to present the award is Richard Manning. And to receive the award on behalf of Betzalem, please welcome Oren Yakabovic, the director of the Camera Distribution Project, and Issa Amro, the project's Hebron coordinator. <laughs> Well, I got a long speech, but I know it's, I'm the last one, so I'm not going to do it all. I'm going to cut it. Um, so first, I would like to express my sincere gratitude on behalf of B'Tselem to the One World Media Trust for this award. 
Um, and also for the donors that are supporting us, some of them are here with us tonight. And most importantly, uh, I would like to say thanks to the Palestinian the participant uh, of the common distribution project, that the most important crucial element in the success of, uh, of this project. This initiative started basically out of anger and frustration, but also out of hope that we can do something to change the situation in the West Bank. And it's a project, project that Palestinian Israel is and all kind of people around the world involved with. Um, for us, Israel is also kind of a part of our democracy and the shape of our uh, community, our future community. Um, that's it. Thank you very much. Um, and I don't want to take your time. Thank you for being here. Thank you.